Guys, you know what? Before the colonizers and enslavers came to Africa, we had certain families with the animals. We had certain families with the elephants, with the lions, with monkeys, with birds, with trees, all this we were related. And you know, the way you cannot just go and start lecturing a lion on why you should not eat an elephant, sometimes we would eat these our animals but the colonizers came and told us that uh, you know these are wild animals these are domestic animals they started telling you that you know you cannot eat elephants and they introduced uh, things like chicken you know they took away our buffaloes and um, they took away all our family of, of the animals how we used to relate locked them up in the parks in the parks our animals are still colonized there in the parks they don't even get to see us as the family members instead they are there to entertain and make money for the presidents who are puppets of the west the money doesn't even come down to us to help us as part of the family i mean it's, it's, it's all corrupted and then they went out and started saying how africa is poor and hungry and we need food and we need this and we need that yet our family is there which is supposed to have been feeding us these animals were never put in their own continent because they were created by african gods not their religious god you know the gold and the silvers and the minerals were created by african gods but they came and told us you know forget about this they taught us songs to sing this world is on my own, I'm just fighting back. And they told us of another home somewhere up there where there's gold and silver. You think if there's gold and silver up there, they would tell us about it? It's been a lie, century after century, generation after generation. And now we have to start visiting our parks. Our family is missing us. Our animals are missing us. And we are not hungry. And we have to start stop imprisoning them and we have to stop using them for entertainment of these colonizers and we just have to change a whole lot of everything and we have to stop thinking that it's okay to kill millions of chicken to celebrate their christmas but we cannot analyze our elephants to feed ourselves i mean not just elephants but antelopes and everything else and the birds and now they have made our people to eat things like caterpillars and they have made our people to eat things like grasshoppers and locusts and they have made our people sorry sorry i have have a cold they have made our people to eat things like chintuga you know those i don't know how to call them in english but a whole lot needs to change i don't use makeup and i don't know why this filter came up with the eyelashes i'm not liking them that's why i'm looking on the side so yes i hope i have passed the point it's time to go back to our roots and time to reconnect to our totem families and time to take our own packs into our own hands our family that has been imprisoned there is missing us